rock steady at King of the Pit TV. Yo, yes now, bless now. Don't forget the rest now. There's rock steady King of the Pit TV. Kicking back. It's the weekend. I might grab a couple of drinks later on. After I do my thing, might hit gym. Got a few things to do. One of these things is checking out Rancid, all right? And out come the wolves. This is the the piece. What do you call it? I, I, I don't know what you call it. But it's definitely the highlight of uh, Rancid's discography. You don't need to tell me that twice, all right? I know that's the case. And out come the wolves, right? I'm going to break it to you. I'm somewhat familiar with, let's say, half of the material on this record, all right? I've not listened to this record in a long time. Um, I don't think I've listened to it all the way through, in all honesty. Having a look at the song... Uh, the track list, I think, uh, I think I've ended up downloading so many of these songs like back on LimeWire back in the day. Um, there are some classics on this. This is where Rancid started to incorporate, uh, well, just judging by listening to Let's Go, the record that comes before this, this is where Rancid starts incorporating a little bit of the ska into the music, which, let's be real, that's, that's, that's the good stuff. In my opinion, that's when Rancid started writing real great music um, and I only say that because I've now listened to the first two albums and they wrote good punk rock tunes but when they started incorporating the ska into the mix it, it just took it to a different level um, so we're going to listen to this record I, I know so much of it I don't know so much of the other I haven't listened to Rancid in a long time as far as this record is concerned and I've always got more things to say um, Especially when I'm re-listening to a record, but with the intention of talking about the music, all right? So this is going to be brilliant. We're going to start off with a short and sweet number. A great opener to the record, Maxwell Murder. Little bass solo in this one, let's go. We've got comments as well. Has there ever been a more perfect album than Outcome the Wolves? Every single song is excellent, all right? That's what Britney Bennett says. Here we go. In hindsight, is there a couple of bum notes in that solo? Because you hear a blunt, blunt, like a, a verging on um, dissonant twang on the lower register there. Listen. This. Ever so slightly, it's probably intentional, yeah. I mean, disregarding the bass solo, the bass guitar is mixed above and beyond the three chords we heard from the actual guitar there. Great starter, very unique starter. I mean, who would have expected a 1 minute 25 song when we're talking over 2 minutes per song from here, really, for the most part. And we're going to throw a bass guitar solo in there at that tempo of that extremity. A very bold opener, and it works, in my opinion, it, it works fantastically. We've got the 11th hour coming up next, track number 2, I'll see you there, alright? Yes, now, bless now, do not forget the rest now. Des Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV signing in. This one's entitled The 11th Hour. We're listening to Rancid. This is track number two of 19. Let's go. The Juice of Joel Guitars.
Interesting. Pe- this guy's made a comment and people are sort of realising this and I, I can see through their eyes because I'm like, well, somebody said, does anybody else think this album plays like a Broadway musical? And I think that's a great testament to the songwriting capabilities, being able to paint an image and tell a story, you know? Is that a uh, tambourine we're hearing uh, ringing in the background? Dun, dun, dun. Or the offbeat. There's not a song called And Out Come The Wolves. Is there a line on this record? Is that a line on the record? Tell me where that name comes from. I don't remember where that's referenced. I'll tell you what, I, I think it's a bit pretentious when bands title records like this. I just like them to be direct and bold and just have a title. You know what I mean? As opposed to it being vague you have to work it out i'm not interested in that but i assume it's a line used on this record right interesting someone says i get a huge clash vibe from this song and now i've heard a few clash records i agree i do agree Lifted from Capital Radio. Someone says Rolling Stones. Do you know where the power lies? Fifty minutes. This record, yeah. quite long. Great tune. Great number. Great number. It's a catchy hook. What more could you want, eh? Over and done. Two minutes twenty-eight. We got Roots Radical coming up next. Uh, I, I used to. I, I thought up until this point it's called Roots Radicals. Maybe I'm wrong. All right, Roots Radical. We got a music video. I've never seen the music video, so let's move on. There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV signing in and out come the Wolves. That's the record we're listening to today. Three out of 19, that's the track we're on. Roots Radical, have I heard this before? Yes, I've heard this one before. Have I seen the music video? Nah, I've never seen the music video. Let's jump straight in. This this, this was never my favourite track, by the way, but it was like one of their hits, innit? The Roots Radical, give me the Roots. <laughs> Moon Stompers. Gear on your boots. Because we're going to reach the moon. Does anybody know that was Skinhead Moon Stomp? Come on. One of the best punk rock songs of all time, says Birdhouse. Here's a good one. Love it how the record business always put Tim and Lars in the magazines. 30 years later, all people talk about is Freeman on bass. Jeez. There we go. This has some of the best bass playing ever. So fast and crisp sounding. But this guy says, And Out Come The Wolves is, in my opinion, the most underrated album of all time. Uh, Troy, I completely disagree. I completely disagree. This is not an underrated record. We've got 15 responses. Let's jump in. Personally, I think it's the most complete punk album of all time. Punk and Drublick, somebody has referenced. Uh, 
And somebody says, no effects ain't compared to rancid. Yeah, I, I you know, I maybe maybe it needs more recognition, perhaps, but as far as underrated is concerned, no way. That's a very Operation Ivy-esque bass line on the chorus though. Was Matt Freeman in Operation Ivy? Whilst we're on the talk of selling out and anti-establishment, which one comment was in regards to underrated, who put this record out? This was a mainstream record. I mean, if, if you came to me and talked about selling out, it's Epitaph. Epitaph Records. We learnt about Epitaph. It was Epitaph. Epitaph was independent, right? Obviously, distribution will have been linked to a major, but I think Epitaph was actually independent, right? If that's the case, i got to put some respect on Rancid. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here we go. Looks like David Beckham, look. Looks like David Beckham with a mohawk there. Which is definitely a, um, a compliment, you know? Very good. But, great tune. I mean, it's, it's it's an incredible tune, isn't it? It's such a great sing-along classic. I think it's a little overcomplicated, lyrically speaking, because to this day, I still couldn't say word, to word, word for word what that chorus was. Give them the roots, the boots, the radicals. Give them the boot, you know I'm a radical. Give them the roots, the boots, the reggae on my stereo or something like that. I bet I got that wrong, and if I got that wrong, it's a bit overcomplicated because I'd like to sing along, and it's not like I've not heard this song before, you know what I mean? We've got Time Bomb coming up next, which is a classic, let's be fair, we've got Time Bomb coming up. Yes, now bless, now don't forget to rest, now Des Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV signing in. We're listening to And Out Come The Wolves, this is track 4 of 19, Time Bomb, I think this is a brilliant track. Um, any track I reference on this record is directly correlated to my youth, man. Um, like when when I heard um, which one was it? It might have been Maxwell Murder. It just took me back to when I was a, a young teenager, and you know the bits and bobs I downloaded off the of LimeWire back in the day. I didn't have the whole record, but I had some good ones. I love this song. This is Time Bomb. I hadn't heard it in a long time. Operation Ivy, by the way, was my favourite band for a very long time. So you know anything adjacent to that, I enjoy a lot. I haven't seen the music video. If you wanna make a moment, then you better come in. It's just a ability that reason that we're so thin. So, so 
on this note, let me just say, is this the very first time you are introduced to a ska track by Rancid? Because this might be the first in their discography we've come across. And it's a banger. Cadillac. A lot of people arguing what punk is in the comments because they're playing a few upstrokes. Come on. Cadillac. Cadillac, yeah. I think the best bit of the chorus is the yeah. Walking bass line. Great solo, no need to show off. The unsung hero is whoever's on the keyboards. Who is on the keyboards? That was time bomb. That's a great number. That's a great number. Fantastic, infectious chorus. Great energy. Great keys. Great guitar solo. Fantastic. I mean, that was the start of something beautiful for Rancid, if you ask me. If you ask me, that 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 was way better than the punk rock sound we've had in the record so far. Olympia WA coming up next. There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit. TV. We're listening to And Out Come the Wolves, track 5 and 19. This is Olympia WA. Let's jump in, shall we? Verging on metal, them chugs. Mates is mad on this chorus. Hanging on the corner. New York City. I wish I was on the highway. Come on. And then the most funniest Tim Time Bomb esque line of all time. To Olympia. New York City. Here we go. I mean, that is, you are, I'm not even going to go into it. I'm going to start chatting shit on the distillers, to be honest. I'm having a hard time understanding. Listening through, I mean, it was a while back now, and surprisingly, I got no flack for it, really. But I listened through to the distillers record. I don't know which one it was. That was one of the worst listen throughs I've ever heard. Some of the most, just the worst empty music I've heard in my entire life. It gets 
Solos back to back, eh? Here we go. How many times will it take me before I go crazy? Before I lose everything? Something burning deep inside of me. Running the thing for the recon. Girls took us to the forest. I don't wanna be alone again. One, two, what? Hey, I'm the corner. One big day. That bass line. A cost passing by. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go my way. A New York City. Wow, I wish I was on the highway. Come on now. What a great tune. It's a great tune. Possibly the best chorus we've come across so far. Absolutely fantastic sing-along chorus, that isn't it? What a brilliant track. Guitar solo's good as well. Guitar solo was uh, in competition with the Time Bomb solo. I, I like I like the usage of guitar solo so, as of so far. Track number six, Lock, Step and Gone. I'm not too familiar with this one, so let's jump in, shall we? Yes, now bless. Now don't forget to rest. Now there's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV, signing in. Lock, Stop and Gone. Lock, Step and Gone, should I say. Boo! Track 6 of 19, we're listening to And the Outcome, The Wolves. I'm not too familiar with this one, let's see if I remember it. Let's play. We're listening to the whole album, people. I don't know if I know this one. Let me distract you for one second. Natty, Natty Dread says, The only 90s punk band that genuinely stands up alongside the originals, in my opinion. The only 90s punk band that stands up alongside the originals. What do you think to that? Who else could there be? Who stands up to the originals? Um, from the 90s. It's a tough question. That is a tough question. If anyone's got an answer for that, let me know, alright? And you can't say Green Day, alright? The best bass playing in punk history. Ooh. 
Someone says there's an auto-tune guitar at 1.15. I'm going to have to go back and listen to that because I didn't clock onto that. And he reckons it's intentional. Hmm. Oh, no, one way to find out. Drum is jamming. Decent tune. That bass. Little bass break there. That sold the show, didn't it? That was the best part of it. That was lock, step and gone. Decent number. A few questions to be asked during that one. We've got a junkie man coming up. Junkie man, tell me what your story is. I know this one. I know this one. There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV, signing in. Junkie man is the name of this one. We're listening to And Out Come The Walls. This is track 7 of 19. I know this one. Junkie man, tell me what your story is. If you're thinking, bruh. I thought you did first time reactions and all this. Bro, we go through the discography. How can, how can I be into punk music and not have listened to some degree of Rancid, all right? I've not listened to this album in its entirety, but you know, you know, I've listened to a few bits and bobs here and there. Here we go. Quality lead guitar. The trolley man does up a pit like this. Only the sword and his never been kissed. Then as a door a beautiful sword. He's riding on the rivers of Babylon. Oh, no, 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 I should end up a freak on the brightness. See the sword, I call him, scroll it up, and I see I like this. The door to light, I learn to sit up, is there a show it with your brother? You're caught up in a system that is going. Twinkly guitars are quite unique, don't you think? And they're very good. They're very good. Rancid don't go out of brand. They don't go off brand, but they can add ornaments and different ideas in a manner which just suits Rancid very well. All right, someone says at 2.19, he says the thing. I assume he says, and out comes the wolves. I assume he says that. I don't know. I've been waiting for this moment. Mosh bit. I remember this bit. And now come the wolves. And now come the wolves. It's all coming back to me. I completely forgot about this section. This is a mosh section right here.
quality tune. You think it could go go around another time? You know what I mean? Not a drag whatsoever. We've got listed MIA coming up next. All right. There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV. We're listening to And Out Come the Wolves, okay? Listed MIA is the title of this one. Not too familiar with this one. So let's see what we've got in store, okay? Peace. This is a terrible... Jesus Christ, who cares? Who cares? You'll find that in every intro there's some sort of melodic lead guitar going on. There's always a melodic hook. These dudes could write songs. They could write songs. Don't bore us, get to the chorus. We got to the chorus twice and we're only at 0 048. Not wasting time. Great tune, listed MIA. That's a that's a banger of a track. That's really good. Fantastic chorus there. Fantastic. Great lead guitars as well. Great energy. I mean, we're not overstaying our welcome. Two minute twenty two. We've got Ruby Soho coming up next. All right, let's keep on moving. Let's keep on moving. When I can uh, find my way to the move on button. Hold on. Yes, now bless. Now don't forget to rest. Now ignore any background noise. Making myself a quick cuppa. All right, Ruby Soho. Destination unknown. If you're in for a first time, listen, you're probably not going to get it for most of the tunes on this record. I know this track, I hadn't listened to this record in a long time, but we go through the discography, don't we? And out come the Wolves is album number three. Most of the best albums are always album number three. This is Ruby Soho, 2 minutes 51, let's go. I hadn't seen the music video before. Get ready, rock steady, come on. This looks like a fresh video, 16 years ago, but the quality is better than what we've seen. It's nice to see a little bit of the man behind the bass perform, innit? Oh so somebody tell me, was Matt Freeman in Operation Ivy? Eh? The 
Tamam ya. That rhythm guitar during the verse is very, very tight, very clean. Sounds good, doesn't it? Oh. Great tune. Bam. That's a great tune. Ruby Soho. It is a good tune, isn't it? The verse section's really good. Daily City Train coming up next. Track number 10. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. What's good? What's good? What's good? Come on. Yes, now. Bless now. Don't forget the rest now. And out come the wolves is what we're listening to today, tonight, tomorrow, this year. Who knows how long the Hell series will come out. Daily City Train is the title of this one. Track 10 of 19. It's a lengthy record, but Rancid, Rancid have put out some substantial material just from these first three records a little bit gassy let's go he was an artist and a writer and a poet and, and a, a friend. friend i've heard this one before people come on in a man's life he will take a fall but how low he goes it just, just depends to all the lost ones Taking that bass line for a walk there, you hear that? Daily, bro, Daily is a city. I always thought it was Daily City Trip. So did I, so did I. Uh, Daily is a city. Daily City Trip. Awesome. Jack was one of the ones that perished. Yeah, he was one of the ones that was already said. Through all this evil and wreckage. Telling a story on this one, you know what I mean? Gospel. I love these solos. 
I mean, I always complain about guitar solos because I hate egocentric shred solos. These are, I love rancid solos and use of lead guitar. Absolutely fantastic. It works so well, so catchy. That was Daily City Train. That was a banger, wasn't it? You know what? I didn't remember it being that good. That's a great song. That's a really good song. It's not overtly crazy, explosive, energetic. It's actually quite wound down as far as like an upbeat ska punk number is concerned. Whether upbeat's the right term for it or not, it's definitely in a major key, isn't it? So I'd go as far as saying upbeat. Um, we've got Journey to the End of the East Bay coming up next, all right? Let's keep going. <clears throat> Yes, now bless now. Don't forget the rest now. There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV, signing in. And out come the Wolves is what we're listening to. This is track 11 of 19, entitled Journey to the End of the East Bay. I know this is a banger. I like this one. It's not a first time listen, people. Just so you know, if you're signing in right now, this record, I'm doing it to tick the box because we're going through the discography. I know so many songs off of this record. From back in the day, it's still like first time listening a long while, so it's quite reminiscent. Let's go. This is a great number. Great energy to it. Best song on one of the best punk albums of all time. Matt Freeman is a special bass player. You know what? Punk, yes, arguably at this point, I would call Rancid a ska punk band. I think it's solidified in this record. They're a ska punk band from this point. Roots punk, yes, definitely. But as far as sound is concerned, I mean, even on their punkier numbers, there's so much movement in the bass. I like a ska punk band, you know? Come on now. Here we go. Great bass line. Such a catchy record, man. This is a song about Operation Ivy, isn't it? This is about Operation Ivy. Now, Frank Black says you are young, you venture out rebellious life, eventually beats you back into submission when you're older. But this feeling is always there, time can't change who you are. Let me tell you, right, people, I can't speak on behalf of 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 year old, but what I am going to tell you is that I heard this when I was a teenager, that was a minute back now. Bruh, you don't have to allow the world to beat you into submission, alright? Respect your independence, live life. As an adult, yes, have principles, boundaries, but do not ever sell out on what you once believed was true as far as what you love, what you dreamt to be, and everything in between, okay? Don't let that die, all right? 
psychologically speaking, I look at some people and I see childish elements and I say, you know, regarding being an adult, yes, you must be an adult to whichever degree, you must mature and adapt and learn and grow wherever you can do, but that childish spark is your creativity, that childish spark is your worldly excitement and adventurous, explorative side, and when that's dead, you're dead, man. Go to work, come back, watch television. Screw that, man. Come on. Always have something to strive for, man, and do it. Come on. The world don't beat us into submission. Come on now. That's ridiculous. That's pissed me off. Journey to the End of the East Bay, great record, great tune. That, that's one of my favourite on the record. I mean, we do have one of my favourites coming up, Old Friend, which I think is parallel to uh, Time Bomb, in my opinion. We've got She's Automatic coming up next, track number 12. Let's keep going. Quite a brief one, this. To the end. Yes, now, bless now, do not forget the rest. Now, there's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV, track 12 of 19. She's Automatic is the name of this one. All right, track 12 and 19, as I said. It's a brief one, it's a very short one, uh, but let's see if we've got any talking points. One minute's 35, possibly the shortest. Not as short as Maxwell Murder. on gang chants but they're just like dual vocaled sing-along sections aren't they they never really reach gang vocal material but don't reach gang bang material do you know what i'm saying but i couldn't imagine worse worse music at a gang bang than rancid and out come the wolves respect to rancid and this record but imagine that what what would be going on come on now a few mohawks and all of that Come on. My head was spinning a million miles an hour. The chance I was taking, I get anxious around. I put it on my shoulder. Lovely little love song, huh? I mean, the best punk rock love song of all time, people. Let me tell you this. Rancid Heads, if you know this one, uh, let me give you respect. Riot Girl by Good Charlotte. All right, that is the best punk rock. And you can say, oh, they're not punk rock. I don't care. Riot Girl by, not Green Day, Good Charlotte. That, that, that's the best, the, arguably the best song of all time. Let's be fair. Mm. She's automatic. So automatic. They weren't messing around with that one, were they? She's automatic, the way she moves. Great song, great song. We've got Old Friend coming up next, which I'm a big fan of. All right, let's keep going. 
Oh, yes, now bless now. Don't forget to rest now. There's Rocksteady at King of the Pit TV signing in. We're listening to And Out Comes the Wolves. This is track 13 of 19, entitled Old Friend. I might drop a few yawns from here on. Um, and I might look a little more tired than I did on the last video and the ones prior to that. Uh, I've had a little breather in between, songs. I had to do a few jobs. It's coming up to what, 2 o'clock in the morning over here, so put some respect on my name, alright? I like this song. I know this song. This one was one of my favourites back in the day. And let's have a little jam through, see what we can pick out. I think this one goes hand in hand with um, Time Bob. I think they pull off a really incredible um lightly overdriven rhythm guitar i think the rhythm guitar is really fantastic when i first heard it i was blown away by that sound i was young and uh, it really really got me excited you know Never picked up on the slight ornaments on the rhythm guitar. They don't, they don't, how are they doing that? It's really Guitar solo coming up, fantastic guitar solo. But you know, it's gonna be alright. Man, they can really put together a fantastic tune. Lyrically speaking, sometimes it's just absolutely nonsensical. I can't make out what he's saying. Like when he's coming to that verse, I've no idea what he's saying, but all together, come on. Take my money, you can take my time, but you can't take my heart into the city behind. Good morning, Hardy. You're like an old friend. Come and see me again. Little bit of organ to finish off. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. That's that's one of the best songs on the record. Great catchy chorus. Tight as hell rhythm guitar. Great lead melodies on the guitar. Fantastic solo. Great dynamic change on the bridge. We've got Disorder and Disarray coming up next. I mean, that last song was almost, like, perfect as far as songwriting is concerned. There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV. Disorder and Disarray is track 14 of 19 on And Out Come the Wolves. Let's get into it, shall we?
that chorus is like um, music video channel soundtrack. You know what I mean? Advertisement soundtrack um, worthy. Powerhouse. So many bands have been heard Just for once can I be ignored Say goodbye with you see the sign Now I'm crucified Come on Reggae drumming right about now, you heard that? Or should I call it dub, you tell me? I mean, after hearing that one, it's less so that was a great song, and more so, this album is just track by track by track, belter after belter, it is an incredible record. This, as far as sing-along value is concerned, as far as production is concerned, as far as instrumentally, wow, what an album this is. I need to know the story behind this record, it's so good, all right? We've got the war's end coming up next, people. Yes, now, bless now. Do not forget the rest now. Des Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV, signing in. We're listening to Rancid. This one is entitled The War's End. We're listening to And Out Comes the Wolves, track 15 of 19. Let's see if I remember this one. Let's jump straight in, shall we? 1 minute 53, short one. Yeah. 
Nice and easy, nice and simple. Probably the weakest track on the record. Even though it's not a bad one. It's not a bad one. Probably the weakest track on the record, that one. Do I have too much to say? Quite an interesting um, sounding guitar with the broken chords at the start. I enjoyed that. When the instrumental comes in, really shows you how clean and crisp the production is. You don't care nothing coming up next, track number 16, alright? I'd be surprised if I know this one. Don't remember this one. Yes, now bless now. Don't forget the rest now, people. There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV. Track 16 and 19. We're listening to And Out Come the Wolves. This one's entitled You Don't Care Nothing. I don't know if I know this one. I don't know if I know this one. Let's find out. I've heard this one before, I don't remember it being called this one. Anybody know who Jenny DeMilo is? Supposedly caught, caught cheating on Tim with Josh Hom of Queens of the Stone Age. What's this about? Bruh, they named her and wrote a song about it. Crazy. I can't believe they put a name on a track. You don't care. Man, if you were Jenny DeMilo, you'd look back at this and think, you know what, this is actually a banger, this is sick. Superb. That was really good. I didn't know that the clarity of her name in the chorus was really good. If that's really the truth in the comment section, that that's awesome. I like that song a lot for how bold it is because it's executed very well. It's executed very, very well. We've got As Wicked coming up next. All right. There's Rocksteady King of the Pit TV. We're listening to Rancid and Out Come the Wolves. This is track 17 and 19. Uh, As Wicked is the title of this one. I said it on the last one, but I'll say it again. I'd be surprised if I know this one. Um, it doesn't ring a bell, the title. Don't know if I know this one. Oh, hey, good shit. 
really good with them unison bends. That's a reoccurring theme with lead guitars, unison bends. <laughs> Very good tune, very good tune. Could it be filler? Quite possibly, you know. At this point, with 19 songs on the record, with 17 songs in, um, could it be removed off the record? Yeah, it won't make a difference in my opinion. Uh, that means it didn't stand out to an incredible degree. We've got avenues and alleyways coming up next. All right, people, let's keep moving. Yes, now, bless now, don't forget the rest now. There's Rocksteady, king of the pit TV. We're going to finish off this record, all right? We've been listening to Rancids and Out Come the Wolves. This is track 18 of 19, entitled Avenues and Alleyways. Let's jump in. I'm a battering ram. Da, 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 da. What, what's, the, what's the next line? Very easy to write off this album because it was their follow up to their hit album, but the songs are so good. That's, that's the first time I've seen a comment like that. Justin says this was their hit album. In a matter. They became famous off of Salvation from Let's Go, apparently. He's a different colour, but we're the same kid. I treat him like my brother, he'll treat me like his. Well, an eye for an eye, yeah, two for two. Brother against brother, should be singing with the group. The air in the city's burning, yeah, it's screaming black and blue. The power and the passion of a million youth. I'm a battery rat, coming through the Friedman's playing it quite safe on this on this track. Great song, great message, great chorus, great energy. 
and I'll leave that one at that. Let's finish this record off with the way I feel. Okay, two minutes 35, it's going to be a brief one. What? We're jumping straight in, so I'll see you then, okay? There's Rocksteady, King of the Pit TV. We're going to finish off this record. Um, we've been listening to And Out Come the Wolves. This one is entitled The Way I Feel. We're listening to Rancid, of course. Let's finish this record off, track 19 and 19. Cockspire-esque, I think. Very good, that was the way I feel. Was that the best track to finish the record on? Probably not, to be fair with you. I don't think that should have been at the end. I think they should have reformatted that and have a, have a better song at the end, but what a bad tune. I mean, you have a outstanding level of quality on the record. It fits the bill, you know what I mean? Great chorus, great energy, great production. That's all you need. Fantastic songwriting. I'm going to do one last video where I give an overview of my last thoughts on the record and we're going to call it a day. So I'll see you there, people. Yes, now, bless now. Don't forget to rest now. Dead's Rock Steady, King of the Pit TV, signing in and signing out, okay? Do I look tired? I am. It's uh, three, well, it's 20 past three in the morning, all right? I just unfinished listening to Rancid's and Out Come the Wolves record. Um... Just double checking that was the title of it. That's how tired I am. 19 tunes. Was it a good record? Let's find out. So, all of the videos should be on this channel by now as far as my reaction video. Is it my first time listening to this record? No, it's not. Um, but I haven't listened to it in the best part of a decade. We have to do this record because it's a classic and because we're going through the discography. I hadn't heard the prior two records by Rancid. But I've heard this one because it's very hard to be involved in alternate music, whether that be punk rock or metal, and not come across a tune or two, if not the artwork for this record. Um, it's very bold, it's very out there. Punk rockers love this record, and it's understandable. This is the first time the band experiments with the ska side of things, which I think really creates the rancid sound, or the rancid sound is what I am familiar with. Um, not that it's a necessity, but... I think they execute it very well. And coming from the uh, Operation Ivy 
historical context. I'm surprised they didn't start throwing it in from the get-go. I suppose they didn't want to be, you know, so alike from the get-go, but it actually works to a T, in my opinion. Let's start with the songwriting. The songwriting's fantastic. Um, quite literally that, I could end that right there. The songwriting is really good. Um, the choruses are second to none. Song after song after song after song. You're just hit with these incredible choruses. You'll get three choruses in the face. It might be over and out before three minutes is over. But they get you with these hooks, these melodies, these sing-along sections, which is an incredible showcase of their capabilities. Nothing overtly technical with the instrumental during these sections, as the instrumental knows what they're doing. It's written to perfection. It's really good. Drumming, fantastic. Although the drums may become latter as far as the emphasis of the instrumental is concerned. Even though they're tight, they do exactly what they need to do. Doesn't stand up to the bass guitar. Does not stand up to the lead guitar. Does not stand up to the vocal line. And to most extents, doesn't stand up to the rhythm guitar. That's not to devalue it. That's just to bring up and raise upon the pedestal the incredible value of the other musicians as well as the drums. Matt Freeman gets a lot of praise on this record, understandably. Some amazing bass lines, some clear, bouncy, momentum establishing bass lines, section by section by section. The lead guitar is fantastic. We've always got a lead guitar hook, whether that be on the intro, the bridge section, the outro, the chorus, wherever it needs to be, it exists. Okay? I mean, as far as the songwriting is concerned, we can link that into the lyrical content and the vocal performance. Spot on. So many catchy bits, so many memorable lyrics. Pristine. Rhythm guitar. We might just have three chords whilst the bass line does the work. Or we might have a nice, chunky, fruity, ska, upbeat rhythm with a fantastic guitar tone. Absolutely pristine. Third wave ska. Great stuff. I'm going to rate this record. <sighs> Man. I, I, I very happily rate this record 9 out of 10, which is rare territory on this channel. 9 out of 10, and I've got no problem saying that. I was going to come into this record expecting there's a couple of songs I've missed out back in the day or what I'd returned when they weren't that good. Um, I didn't come across any of that. It was just great music from start to finish. The ceiling is incredible. It's so high, and the foundation is so high. They operate consistently at such a high level. And I wonder how many songs they put together before composing this record as a 19-song album. Because if this was the only songs they wrote, wow, they are a hit writing machine. Absolutely incredible. The music is fantastic. And the production, the sound engineering, potentially I was listening to a remaster. But irregardless, absolutely pristine. Fantastic, great sound engineering, everything popped, everything was in the right place. Didn't have to hear out for anything. You heard every instrument perfectly. There was no over excessive instrumentation. Bit of keyboard here and there, bit of organ. That's about as much as you got. A few claps here and there perhaps. Man, I've got to give it to Rancy for this one. Um, to the extent where I'm not even looking forward to the next record because... I don't know how they can get better to this. This seems like there's been so much time, energy, and just investment put into this project. I, 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 I'm I, expecting to be underwhelmed by the next record, in all honesty. I'm signing out, people. I'm going to bed. Peace. <laughs>